Hello everybody at GM Games, Coach Fury here today and um, I'm not back today with my usual Let's Play series with the Utah Jazz. I'm actually here today to, to try and answer a question that we, we've had on the um, on the YouTube channel about how um, I've managed to, to get the NBA mods into the Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 20 and I'm just going to take you very quickly through how I do that, where I find them and, and the steps I take. So before I do that it's probably worth just saying the, the, the actual game version I've got is, is an actual version that's, that's on my PC so I don't have a version via Steam so for the Steam users out there if you are um, using that to, to play the game and to do the mods you, you can absolutely do that and you can follow most of the steps I show you here and I'll just highlight um, where you might need to go to a different location to, to add the mod in when we get to that stage but first of all let's just show you how, how, I, how I do it and where I get to um, so the first thing is anyone who hasn't visited the Wolverine Studios forum um, go and check it out because it's an amazing sort of area of lo location and source of knowledge really for, for mods, for how to play the game, for tips, for just sharing ideas. So if, if you haven't checked that out please go and have a look at it because it is, it is a fantastic source for draft day sports games in general. And for mods really is the main thing. So most of the people will, will go into the forum um, so if I just go back um, you'll see here the forum um, the first thing that um, you, you can do is, is to get the mods is to find the relevant game and the mod but for Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 20 the actual mod that I've used is not in the 20 version here it's actually in the 19 version so if we go and find that which is here and the one that I'm using which I is probably in my opinion the, the best mod that they have for this game at the minute is this NBA mod down here so it looks a little bit like this and basically all it is is it's literally just a drop box with, with some folders and some different graphics and things that we're going to put into the game and it's, it's pretty straightforward so you literally will just click that link there it'll take you to Dropbox and, and download it and what should hopefully appear in your download folder is something that looks like this so you should hopefully find the NBA mod um, and then if you open up you'll have a graphics and a setup one so obviously with it being the, the version that's a year old now the actual download for the mod the setup is, is irrelevant we can ignore that we're just worried about the graphics so you'll see in here the graphics we've got courts jerseys logos play, non players owners players um, all kinds of jerseys and stuff so I mean you can you can open them up and sort of have a look um, I don't know if it's probably going to open, not open up on the screen here, but you can hopefully, you know, if I quickly change the view to a tile, oh no, maybe not, change the view to, no, okay, well anyway, just rest assured that is the correct, and if you open them up in, um, on your computer, you'll see that the actual, um, you know, logos graphics mods etc are, are you know nba versions of themselves so all you need to do really is, is take this this graphic setup and essentially paste it into your your game setup so the way you do that is you navigate to not that one to your your location of where your draft day sports is so for me it's on my my c drive for those who's using Steam, um, you'll have to do this slightly differently. You'll have to go into Steam, right click on the game, um, and then open Browse Local Files, and you'll get the same set of files here. Um, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into this app, this app one, and into the data, no, not data, into one of these, if I get it right. Ah, here we go, into disk. So if you go into disk and go into graphics and literally all you're going to do is you're going to take the items that you've downloaded if we move this out of the way slightly there we go um, if you move basically you're just going to take the graphics so the graphics that you've downloaded that are in here and you're going to pretty much just paste it in here so let's open up the graphics tab so all of these 
you'll see they, they marry up to what you've got in the location. And just simply just paste them over the top of each other. And you'll say, come up with a message saying, do you want to replace? Just say yes, replace them. And then once you've done that, you're good to go. So you can then very simply load your game as, as we've got here. And you should see that the logos all appear um, for, you know, for the jazz here, the one that we're actually playing through at the minute. You'll see, you know, all of the courts, jerseys, everything should all match up to an NBA equivalent jersey. And you're good to go. And it's as simple as that. One thing I would say when you are putting this mod in, um, just make sure before, perhaps before you, you paste over and overwrite, you just take a very quick copy of the um, of these lo locations here. Just take a quick copy of them, chuck them into a separate folder in your documents or something. So you just got to back up in case there's any issues with the pasting um, to overwrite them. Um, so you can always revert back to the default if you need to. And then that is it. You are good to go. You you have the mod, you have the um, the historical file which is already in the game, and, and you're off off you go. Um, I hope this has helped in terms of answering that question of how to to get the mods into the game and um, hopefully you're enjoying the, the series so far episode two landed i believe a couple of days ago and um, many more episodes to come